I am Dr. Sherry Mason, Associate Professor of Chemistry at SUNY Fredonia. And where are you from originally? I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. We are looking for plastic pollution in the Great Lakes. Uh, we're one of the first research groups in the entire world to be looking within freshwater systems for plastic pollution. And uh, we're the only one doing it within the Great Lakes, which is the largest freshwater ecosystem in the entire world. Wow. Um, how does this impact New Yorkers and what can we do to help? So ultimately, I mean, what we've been finding within the water are these little pieces of plastic. It's not, um, the size of the plastics are not so big that you could see them. And that's what's um, maybe surprising to many people because if you're out in the water, you don't see it. But when we pull our net through the water, we find these little microscopic pieces of plastic. Um, and ultimately the concern is, you know, anything that's in the water is ultimately within us. Um, so the plastic that we're finding is coming from ultimately two sources. I mean, one of it is little pieces of plastic that is fragmented from bigger items. And the other is little plastic beads, these perfectly spherical round beads that we suspect are coming from basic consumer products. Things like facial washes and toothpaste and body washes that contain these micro beads as an abrasive within their chemical formulation. So in terms of what can we do, it's ultimately thinking about well, what are those sources. Um, if you reduce your use of products that contain microbeads, so changing your facial wash, changing your toothpaste, changing your body wash, that can have a huge impact on what we're seeing in the lake. If you can reduce your use of single-use plastic um, items, things like water bottles, plastic bags, uh, plastic utensils, straws, all of those things, these are items that we're ultimately finding in the lake. So if we can reduce it, the, the use of these on the source side, we won't find them in the lake. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Dr. Mason, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Okay.